and we're joined courtside by UNC head coach Jeff Linder following it. Uh, and the signs of having a, a team that's gaining some experience, getting a feel for some of the, some of the newness, if you will, of the season and, and kind of trying to find a flow early, and it comes and it goes a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, and, um, you know, we had some lineups out there that, you know, we really haven't played with, you know, being the fact that Sam couldn't play because of, of his concussion. Um, it just, you know, we had to move Jonah to the one, which, you know, Jonah, he, he's, he's had reps at the one, but uh, it just kind of moved everybody over a spot. And so it took a little while to, to get kind of in the flow of things. They came out and made a, a few early shots. Um, you know, a big thing for us is not letting guys shoot threes, even though they're a team that doesn't shoot the three well. You know, we let a guy that we didn't want to get shots uh, with Drew Lutz. He got uh, a couple looks there early, but we settled in. I uh, thought we did a really good job of, of sharing the ball, making that extra pass that led to a great shot. Uh, it's been a long time since we've probably, you know, have 20 assists on right. 28 made right. shots. I mean, that's, um, you know, th that's something to, you know, that we, we commented to the guys about. But, uh, you know, I thought overall our guys, they, they battled hard. You know, the second half, we talked about coming out, you know, and setting the tone, and they make a tough three out of the corner, and then, I told them I wasn't going to bail them out with the timeout. You know, they needed to fight their way through that, find find a way to, you know, stop the run on themselves uh, themselves. And so they did a good job of that. And then we bounced it out. And my guy Roy right now, uh, you know, with that shot and the secret scrimmage, you know, where he went five for five from the three in like about a five minute stretch. I told him, you know, you probably lead the country after that and uh, points uh, per 40 minutes at about 120 points. And so. Roy's streak is at six for six right now. <laughs> You've got to love it. An opportunity for a, a, a redshirt freshman who put in a lot of good work for you last year and, and, and gets that chance late in the game to at least let one fly. Yeah, and that's and people don't realize how hard that is when you've been on the bench the entire time and then you come out there. I mean, yeah. he's, he's an unbelievable hand-eye guy. I mean, that's, uh, that's what he does every day in practice. And, uh who knows, you might start seeing some action because he is hard to guard. One of the things about this game that you mentioned the assists already and the, and the ball movement, but also to be able to put together the balance you did. Bodie Hume finishes with 25, 23 of them in the first half. Mm -hmm. Picking up the slack, Trent Harris does so in the second half for you by knocking down some shots. Yeah, no question. And Bodie was, you know, I mean, he scored 23, and I don't think he scored the first six minutes that he was in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just shows you kind of shot maker that he is. And then the second half, um, not sure if he got a little tired or whatnot, but Trent definitely stepped up. And, you know, that's what Trent does. I mean, as long as he's shooting the right ones, I mean, that's that's something that we expect him to do. Matt Johnson was great. Um, you know, he set the tone early. And uh, it was an overall, you know, really good team effort. Tonight uh, goes in the W column. Now you turn around on Tuesday night, get another crack at it with Colorado College before you have to go on the road for a couple of big ball games. What, what do you look to do in terms of uh, setting a tone then for that Tuesday night? Oh, biggest thing is getting healthy. I mean, that right now, I mean, Rod pulled up a little lame there. Um, luckily, Trent just cramped. I thought he maybe had turned his ankle, but try to get Sam back uh, hopefully by that time. But if not, uh, have him ready to go before we go to Northern Iowa. Sounds good. Thanks, yeah, Jeff. Thanks, Troy. Jeff Linder's postgame thoughts is, again, Northern Colorado wins tonight over UIW by the final of 83 to 61.